Good morning, Cam Brar for Cam's Mortgage Minute. Well, a little different today. We're not in the office. Today I'm going to do something a little fun. It's Friday. I get tired of talking about mortgages all the time, so today I thought I would talk about making Indian chai tea. Now, for those of you who don't know it, chai tea is actually kind of a double word. Uh, chai in India means tea, and if you say chai tea means tea tea, which doesn't make a lot of sense. And uh, I'm, like I said, I'm from India originally and uh, I grew up drinking tea. I mean, in North America, everybody loves coffee, but from where I come from, tea is the only way to go. So I thought I'd share with you how to make it today because, uh, you know, you go to all these places, the Starbucks and all these other fancy coffee shops, and they charge you a fortune for it. And quite honestly, folks, it's not that hard to make. So I, again, like I said, I thought I'd share it with you. It doesn't come out of a box. There's nothing fancy you got to do. It's pretty simple. So, what's the first thing you need to make in good Indian chai tea? Well, you need a good pot. So what you want to do is you want to buy one that has a really thick base because uh, if you don't have that, uh, the milk and stuff you're going to add to the tea later is going to burn on the bottom and it's going to be a pain in the butt to have to clean the pot. So, start with good cookware. I mean, it's a, like I said, I love cooking. So, uh, a good cookware is great anytime when you're doing cooking. So, how do you make a cup of tea? Well, it's pretty simple. What we do is we, like I said, start with a pot. You can get a big, like if you like a mug like this, which I like to have that much tea, so I'll start with that much in water. So we'll add the water to my pot. So I add that. Now what will happen is when we add that, it's going to be a lot more water because we're also going to be adding milk to our tea. And you might think, wow, hey, that's just a little too much. However, what's going to happen is we're going to steep and boil this for a while to get all the flavors out. And when you have Indian spice tea or chai tea, or chai, and, it's, and I'll just stick with just chai. Uh, what happens is there's a lot of little spices that go in there. So I'm gonna share with you the kinds of things people put in there. And I've got a little container here that I keep all my spices in and it's kind of sealed so the flavors stay in there. And the kinds of things that go in here, let me show you next to the camera here, are gonna be things like cloves. Cloves are easy, you can find them in any kind of store that you like. There's also gonna be things like cardamom. Cardamom are these green seeds right here and then what you do is you break them open and inside, ugh, there we go, they're a little tricky, inside you're going to find these black little pods in there. Those are what you're going to break into and put into your teapot. So we're going to add it right in there. We're going to add that clove that we had earlier right in there. Now what some people like to do is they also like to add cinnamon. You can add an entire cinnamon stock or what I like to do is I actually like to cheat a little and just use cinnamon powder. So I'll sprinkle a little bit into my water. Right there. Okay, so another thing that you can add to your tea is fennel seeds. Now fennel seeds are really, really great. I mean, they use a lot of fennel in Italy and places like that. And fennel seeds, if you want to look at them, they basically look just like that. So they're little greenish seeds, so we add like kind of like a handful. I don't really do a lot of measurements, I just kind of throw it all together. And then what I'll do is I'll let that boil. So now our concoction, just to give you a bit of an idea here, I'm going to play around with the camera, is going to look something like, whoops, now where are we here? Oh, yes. Okay, this is what happens when you try to handle it with one hand. There we go. So that's what it looks like. So we're going to let that now boil for a while, and we're going to let it come to a full boil. So what will happen is it'll keep on boiling away, and it's going to basically going to um, evaporate. A lot of the water is going to evaporate off. It's going to get thicker and more flavorful as time goes on. So what I'm going to do at this point is take a break, because uh, really it's quite boring sitting there watching water boil. Um, so I will come back to you when the boiling is done and then we'll look at what the next step is. See you soon. Hi, it's Kim. We're back here again. Okay, now as you can see the water is boiling at this point. Now you've got a couple of options that you can also do. You can either just let it freely boil or you can put a lid on top. Sometimes it's nice to have the lid on top because it tra traps the flavors even better and the water gets even more and more flavorful as the boiling process goes. So again, Make sure that if you uh, do lift it up, be very careful you don't burn your hand. Uh, get yourself, again, a good cookware, because good cookware will have a handle that's uh, pretty solid and isn't going to heat up as well. So, again, I'll take a little break. We'll let it keep on boiling, and we'll be back once uh, we're ready for the next part. See you soon. Hey, it's Cam. We're back. Okay, so the water's been boiling for some time. I'm going to bring the camera a little closer. Again, excuse my lack of uh, Spielberg-esque skills. But just to give you an idea, that's what it's going to look like. It's boiling away. You'll probably notice the color changing. It's the cinnamon. It adds a little flavor to it and stuff. Now, I'm not a very scientific cook. I cook more by kind of just feel, and, um, well, feel I guess. 
Uh, so, how do you know when you, the water's boiled long enough? Well, the bottom line is you're going to smell the aromas in the room. Uh, all those spices, the, you know, the cardamom pods, the uh, fennel seeds, the clove, the cinnamon, they're all going to be giving off an aroma. And you're also going to look at your pot and see how much the, what the water has evaporated down to. So it depends how creamy of a tea you want. Indian tea traditionally isn't like the British tea where you just add a tea bag and some water and it's kind of tastes like water. This is designed to be kind of, uh, well really, quite frankly, how tea should taste. So the next step is as it's boiling down and you decide it's kind of at a comfortable level and you would like to add about a half, half to about a cup of milk. And again, it'll depend on your pot as you get more used to how thick or how um, thin you like your tea. So the next step is we're going to add our milk to it. Actually, before we add our milk, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. We've got the all-important tea bag. Well, that's going to be really vital. So when you're making chai, what kind of tea bag should you be using? Well, really, in, in chai, you're going to use either an orange pico type tea, which is what I grew up on, or you're going to use a black tea. We don't really use uh, orange swirl, raspberry, herbal, chamomile, feel-good kind of tea. That isn't really what chai tea is designed to work with. It's tea that has caffeine, so either you're going to go, like I said, with a black tea or an orange pico. I like to buy the one in the orange pico in the bag simply because it doesn't make a huge mess in my pot. Some people like the loose black flakes and that sort of stuff, which is great, and you can use a strainer after. So we're going to take our tea bag, we're going to throw it in. And we're going to let it just all boil together now for a while. So again, the color is going to start changing obviously as the tea gets boiling longer and longer. So after that point, we're going to be adding our milk. Now I am, uh, I, when I grew up, I grew up on well, homogenized milk or pretty much almost 4% fat milk, which was really thick. And it gave my tea a lot of flavor. Now as I've gotten older and more fitness conscious, I've uh, kind of drank skim milk. However, skim milk, even though it's wonderful and has great health benefits, sometimes you want that feeling of that rich flavor of tea. So what I do is either I will get, uh, let's say, a 4% um, or a fully homogenized milk once in a blue moon to use, or what I find works really well is you take the combination of skim milk along with evaporated, uh, canned of evaporated milk, such as this one right here. And this one here, for example, is uh, fat reduced, for, so you can be calorie conscious and sensitive to the fats. However, it still gives you lots of great flavor at the end. I'll show you kind of what I do here. So, as you can see, our color is changing. It's pretty much dark and gone to that orangey color. So the water at that point is ready for your milk. So the next step is we just pour in the milk. Now, I don't really measure again because I've done this so often. I'm used to it. I'll pour in the milk. And then what I'll do is, huh, there we go, just a little dab more. And what I'll do is I will take that evaporated canned milk and I will add just a smidgen of it at the end. That's it. And that is uh, not going to add as many calories or as much fat in, but it really does a wonderful job of adding flavor to your tea. So at this point, what does your tea look like? Well, let me bring that camera over, 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 oopsie, oopsies. There we go. And that is what it looks like. It's going to be that, that pile of water, as milk, water. You've got this orange swirls in there. So if you're, I guess, like, I don't know, if you're a tea leaf reader, you can look in there. I don't know. Maybe it'll predict your future. So we're going to let that come to a boil now. That's the next critical part. So as it uh, comes to a boil, we're not going to wait here for it. I'm going to put you on pause, and I will be back once the boiling process starts, and then we'll have a look at the final part. Okay, I'm back now. Now we've gone kind of handheld mode here, and I'm just going to show you. So there's our, our tea and our chai. It's coming to a boil. As you can see, we're going to let everything boil up. And you've got to be careful to keep an eye on it at this point. You don't want it overspilling and flowing out on your stove. So when it comes to a good boil, you're going to turn it off. That's it. I let it kind of simmer down for another few seconds just to kind of give it that additional thickness and that flavor. And uh, let's uh, give me a sec here. I'm going to put you on pause. We're going to now get ready to pour a cup. And I'll show you what you can do as well when you're pouring so you don't get all the little bits in your tea. Just be right back. Well, we're back. Okay, so we're all done. We're going to turn off our stove. We've got our handy dandy mug right here. And if you don't want all of those cinnamon bits and all the other little cardamom seeds and all that other stuff in your tea when you're drinking it, you can use a little strainer. So you just pour some over right there. Ah, I'm making a bit of a mess. Obviously, these cooking shores make it look a lot easier than it is in real life, isn't it? So here, I'm going to switch hands. I seem to work better on that hand. Oops, well, maybe I don't work better on that hand. 
Okay, so there we go. I'm going to get it all poured out. And there we go. And just to show you really quick, there is all of those seeds and all that flavor and all that other uh, spices that came out of there. And now we have our cup of Indian, well, I'll just call it chai. And now you can enjoy this chai and you're not having to pay five bucks to drink it. Uh, it's, uh, like I said, fairly simple to make. I'm just going to adjust the camera so I can kind of see you again. So, again, very easy to make, not that complicated. A good cup of chai, you can make a, certainly a larger batch when you have friends over, just increase the recipe. And again, the recipe is very simple. Like I said, water, you've got your milk, you can use your evaporated milk at the end to add it, give it that additional flavor. You've got your uh, tea bags, and like I said, the tea is going to be either a black tea loose, or you're going to get an orange pico in tea bags, which like I said, is a lot easier for cleanup. And as far as our spices go, once again, we're going to use cardamom, we're going to use whole green cardamom. You're going to break them open, you're going to use the pods inside, you're going to use the cinnamon, you can use a stick, like I said, or do what I do, cheat a little bit, use the cinnamon powder. You can also uh, add the fennel seeds like we discussed, and you can add a whole clove in there. So again, like I said, simple recipe, throw them all in, let it all come to a boil the water, let that water condense down, throw in your tea bag, let everything boil again, uh, you add your milk at the end, and again, if you want a little thickness and flavor and you're not using whole milk, cheat a little bit, use a little canned evaporated milk, it'll be fabulous, it'll give it that thickness, and uh, let it all come to a boil, pour, enjoy, and that's it. The way that tea was meant to be dr uh, drank, drink, drunken, I don't know, the, the way tea was meant to be enjoyed. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this segment of Cam's Mortgage Minute, again, something a little different. I get tired of talking about mortgages all the time. So I thought I'd share my second passion with you, which is cooking. And like I said, I hope you enjoyed this episode of how to make chai. Enjoy your chai. Uh, give me your feedback. Send me a quick email. Tell me you liked it. And believe it or not, I mean, in summer weather, and I know this will surprise you. I mean, we're a people in India in warm countries. They drink tea in hot days, and it doesn't make you feel hot. It actually, ironically enough, and I don't know why, it seems to cool you down. So take care. Enjoy the day. And I hope you enjoy your chai. Oh, it's Cam here. Hey, I knew I'd forgotten something. One quick thing about your chai tea, your chai tea, uh, chai, sorry, not chai tea. Uh, you can add sugar. Now, I'm one of those folks that uh, doesn't use sugar. I don't, uh, I'm not a big fan of putting it in my tea. However, if you like your tea sweet, definitely you can add sugar. You can add, like I said, brown sugar, white sugar, whatever kind of sugar you want. That's entirely up to you. So uh, make that decision if you do like it or some folks even like to add honey to their tea. That works really well as well. And so that's uh, basically it. I hope you enjoy your cup of tea and I look forward to seeing you on our next fun segment. And uh, I don't know, we'll figure out something else to cook or make or whatever else. But uh, other than that, during the rest of the week, of course, we'll talk about mortgages as we always do. Take care. Bye-bye.